it's Alexis and as y'all can see I don't look like the typical like fun Alexis that hops on here and it's like all branded and you know everything on because you know why I did not feel like getting started today I did not feel like getting up I did not feel like getting my order started but I realized that I am a big advocate of um just being real and showing you all what it looks like on days that you just don't feel like it um especially when you know I see people going through a couple things and a lot of people come to me and they're like Alexis I just I you know I, I can't get started I just don't want to so let me show you what it feels like on a day or what it looks like on a day that I don't feel like getting started um I had a really long week um that I won't go into right now but I just I gotta get started I have orders to do I have a ton of things to do so let me show you what I do I literally get up my computer is packed up because um i went on a trip so i packed it up i get up i still have my robe on like i, I listen y'all it's real okay this is this is real my hat is covering up um some braids that goes underneath my wig and i literally just turn my computer on grab my coffee like literally there's coffee in here so grab your coffee and your favorite mug. Turn your computer on. I probably should have started this up beforehand, but we're in real time here. Um, and then I literally go to the easiest thing that I can do to get started. So I call that my autopilot. When I don't want to get started, I just go on autopilot, y'all. I literally do. So the easiest thing that I can think to do right now is to just go to some of my orders uh, right now a majority of my orders have been coming on through Etsy because it just got too hard to try to keep up with everything through text message through Facebook messenger business messenger Instagram any of that stuff so I literally just um, started throwing them up on Etsy whether or not my listing was right or not I just put them on Etsy at first and then sent everybody the link of what they wanted to purchase and I was able to streamline my orders through there and then I'll later I'll tell you the benefits of doing it that way also um so I'm just gonna go to Etsy go to my listings and look at what orders I have to do nope not gonna go to listings I'm gonna go to orders and right now I have six orders that's just waiting in queue for me I heard them going off um last night especially after I set my sale um it looks like I just have so they're pretty easy so this is good so I get to start with something easy that was that's what I would suggest start with something easy just to get yourself going all right um so I have an order of just one stocking and then there's five stockings in that order then I have an order of monogram boots a monogram backpack uh -oh. more stockings and a hat oh gosh it's kind of a lot but the stockings that i have to do are just plain so i don't have to put anything on them it's literally just a blank that i'm selling so um that way i can do that but then the hat that i do so how about this i plan on getting them all done today so i'm just going to print all my shipping labels uh select them all select all on the page get labels and I've already, so that's the best part about this. I have it set up through my Etsy. If you all haven't already, I will probably do a training on it one day soon. Um, until then, you can hop on YouTube University and find a good training on it. I actually um, purchased somebody's training to help me figure out how to really optimize my Etsy and get money um, rolling in. And that's I offered that in my mentorship program um, for some of my some of my people that are in there. So anyway, enough of my rambling. I'm just going to make sure that all of my all of my um, Etsy orders look fine. And for some reason, I want to go through. All right, so now, I, I mean, I'm okay with them. I've already preset all my stuff. And I'm going to print. Okay, so I got all my labels printed out. 
and I set them down somewhere. I just set them underneath here. Uh, whoa. Okay. So I got all of them printed. And like I said, they're really easy orders. We're starting with our easiest. And I, you can either print off your shipping form, like, you know, your itemized thing, or just do like I do and just kind of go back to the computer and look at it as you go. Then I just put everything, I start to put my labels on it according to the name. I can't show you this part because it's people's personal shipping information. But just know I'm struggling through getting a label on a bag, on a mailer. So this is my mailer. <coughs> <clears throat> and that's the you know the information on there and then I go ahead and I just put it with whatever I have that is shipping oh but I'll make a mess there we go okay so this one she wants a backpack it's not done yet but I am still going to just get it all organized sit it right in here and I'm sit it on the floor right by where I'm doing my orders the next thing I have, I have boots. I'm actually going to have to go and find a bigger box for that. Uh, this next person wants just the stocking. And I know for sure that my stockings can fit in this bag. Plain burlap stockings. Sometimes I take the plastic off if it's like a lot and I just need more room in the, in the mailer. So you see like little, just senseless, not senseless, but you know, little minute jobs. I mean, just to get you going, like literally just to get your, you know, your foot on the pedal when it comes down to getting your work done because these orders are not going anywhere until you send them. Does that make sense? I kind of, you see what I did there? They're not going anywhere. If you don't feel like it, it's just gonna pile up and it's not worth it. It's not worth getting behind. Um, and I do know that some days you just don't feel like it. And that's why I'm showing you all my day of where I don't feel like it. But I'm showing you how I push through it. Okay, so let's see what else we got to put in here. All right, I have a black hat that I need to do, so I'll probably get up in a moment and pull a black hat. So I just pull everything that I need, and this is just working off the Etsy orders. This is not even working off of um, orders that I have just hanging out that I know I need to do. So just keep it moving, keep on pushing. If you have to, put on some lip gloss. That's what I usually do. Lip gloss gets me going. But let's see, this person wants just one stocking. Throw a card in there. Throw on some music. Anything that you have to do. I guess I could use the smaller mailers. Huh. I know next time. Um Anything that you have to do just to get going, all right? So my last one is going to be one, two, three, four, five. I thought I pulled extra because I have to do an order of just two. Somebody wants a Paw Patrol. Um, okay. All right, so... um. Hold on. Let me go get the other size mailer that I want to use. All right. So I went got a bigger mailer that I needed. I'm just going to double check the name. And then they want five of them. So let's put the shipping label. This works a lot better if you're like on a solid surface. There you go. Okay, it's a little crinkly.
but it's okay because we're getting orders done. Then I just put all five of these in here, throw my card in it. So I can actually seal these. And part of my process is I seal it, then I throw it in the hallway. And that lets me know that they're ready. All right. I check it and double check it before I seal it. So that way, once I go to pick them up in the hallway and ship. Now, these are the ones that don't have to have anything on it. So once I go and pick them up from the hallway, I don't have to do anything else with it. I already know. I don't seal the ones that you have not done already. Okay, that will give you a different kind of blues because then you have to redo everything. And then last but not least, my hat that I have to do. Okay, so this goes with the boots. And just keep everything, try to keep everything um, as organized as you can. You see, I'm working in a small corner space because this is just easier for me to have my computer here. And then also, um, also work at the same time. And then my last one is just going to be a hat. So I'm going to put this in a small bag in my small bubble mailer or non-bubble. Non it's not bubbles, but I call them all bubble mailers. Um sit that there put the put the address on it and if it doesn't confuse you too much you can do it the way I do and just go ahead and put it in here so that you have everything with everything that you need and I sit it right down here by my machine and then now I feel like I've made some progress I've gotten a couple orders out there done um, I feel good about it I, I don't feel as overwhelmed right now I can sit here and do what I usually do. I personally don't mind stitching in silence. Uh, although I do have a TV or sometimes I will turn on um, some YouTube, listen to some videos on embroidery, or sometimes I listen to a sermon depending on how I feel. But yeah, that's it, you guys. I am literally coming to you all in the rarest form. Is that the right word, rarest form? Raw, rawest, I don't know. Anywho. In my robe, hair a mess underneath my hustle hat. Y'all put on some hustle, throw on some lip gloss, and we gotta get, well, it's almost gone, but we gotta get our day started, okay? This is my favorite robe. A lot of times when I'm doing tutorials and you don't see me in the background, I'm in this robe with like a t-shirt or something on underneath it, just getting, just getting through. So like I said earlier, a lot of times we like to highlight, not just in embroidery, just in every part of your life, we like to highlight the good days that we have and we forget about the bad days and we all have bad days. Um, sometimes our bad days stretch beyond days and they go weeks and sometimes even months. So I'm a big, big, big just advocate or fan of wanting to know what you do. I ask people all the time that, you know, say they, they struggled through something. And I just always say and I always wonder to myself, like, what did your worst day look like? Like, how did you push through? Because right now, I saw you when you said you were having a bad time, a hard time. And then I see you on the other side of it. But we need to know what happens in here. Because what happens in the middle of it happens to all of us. We have these days that we just don't feel like it. So that's why I'm coming to you all like this and not minding sharing to you all what, um, what it looks like to just push through and get everything going. And I just hope this helps somebody out to you don't get dressed up to go in your sewing room don't get dressed up to go in your craft room if you have to just come as you are just to get this stuff going and just it's it's just an autopilot that's what i call it that's what i call it for myself you can call it whatever you want to for yourself but just to get do the small simple easy things just to kind of get you motivated because remember why you started this you like to craft you like to create i've spoken on the phone to a lot of people lately and I always ask them what their why is. And they always say because they want to make people happy with what they do. They want to see the reaction. And that's me personally too. I like to see the reaction when people get their order. And I just like to see a project from beginning to end. So just remember why you're doing this. And maybe when you get in the middle of doing your project, doing your orders, you can get that good feeling back. All right. 
So just do that. If you're in a rut, if you're in a slump somewhere, just start. Okay, start somewhere. There's no need to just put this down forever. It will get better. Your days will get better. And I promise you, if you are having a bad day, shoot me a message. Okay, I got some good words of encouragement for you. Watch this video over a ton of times so you can see how uh, raggedy my bad day is. And you know what? Let me just not say, let's not claim it. Let's just say this is, it's just a day. I'm just having, a, I'm just having a day. All right. So I will see you all later. Okay, don't screenshot this and put this all over the internet saying Alexis looks a mess. I'm aware of it. Okay, I know I look a mess, but I'm pushing through and I'm doing this for you all. And I'm also, I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing it for myself, for you all, for everybody. And I just want you all to know that I care about you and I want to see you create and I want to see you succeed. All right, so remember, y'all, listen, what, I mean, perfect timing. Okay, whatever mug you're going to drink out of, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be pretty. I hope it's not backwards on the screen, but... This is why I this is why this is my motto. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's pretty. All right, it's gonna come out pretty. I will see y'all later. Bye.